What up, player? I'm Andrew Manningham, and this is my screencast on Hendrik Lorenz. Alright, so, early life. Lorenz was born in Arnhem, Netherlands on 1853. He was raised as a Protestant, but he was a free thinker despite that. He studied physics and math in Leiden University, and he earned his bachelor's degree and eventually his doctor's doctoral degree in 1875. He married Aletta Kaiser in 1881. Later life. Lawrence began teaching in Leiden University as, as a professor in 1878 at the age of only 24. He was mainly interested in electromagnetism at Leiden University and he influenced the works of many other scientists such as Albert Einstein. Unfortunately, he died in 1928 in Harlem, Netherlands. Alright, so contributions he had on, the, on physics as a whole. The Lorentz transformation. Basically, it describes that two different measurements of space and time by two observers can be converted into the measurements observed in either, in either frame of reference. And uh, the next one is the Lorentz force. This is a force on a point charged due to the electromagnetic fields, described by the equation F equals Q times the quantity E plus V times V. Basically what this means is if a particle Q moves with a velocity V in the presence of an electric field E and a magnetic field B, it will experience a force. The next one, is his most famous contribution, is the Zeeman effect. This is the effect of splitting a spectral, a spe spectral line into several components in the presence of a static magnetic field. This is actually also where he won his Nobel Prize for Physics. And uh, furthermore, Lorentz also derived the transformation equations used by Einstein to describe space and time. Alright, so legacy and accomplishments. Nobel Prize for Physics. Lorentz won this uh, prize in 1902, and he was awarded because him and Peter Z Zeeman discovered the explanation of the Zeeman effect. The Rumford Medal in 1908. Uh, Lorentz was awarded this medal for his investigations in optical and electrical science. And uh, lastly, he was awarded the Copley Medal in 1918 just 10 years before his death, and he was awarded this medal for distinguished researchers in mathematical physics. All right. And uh, basically some fun facts about Hendrik Lorentz. There's a crater on the moon named Lorentz, and it is actually a really, really big crater. And uh, there's also a Lorentz medal given out every four years by the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. And it's also said that a lot of people who win this Lorentz Medal are also go on to win the Nobel, Nobel Prize for Physics. And lastly, Lorentz's eldest daughter, Gertrudia Lorentz, also became a renowned physicist after his father.